Hello everyone, this is Omer Hassan and uh, uh, we are going to solve D1 exercise 1 uh, B question number uh, 9 and question number 10. Uh, so starting from here, you can have previous lectures of D1 that is from exercise 1A and rest of the questions from 1B in my channel. Subscribe the channel. So moving towards question number 9 determine whether each of the following statements is true or false if it is true explain your reasoning if it is false give a counter example so question number 9 part number a this is d1 and exercise is 1b so part a from Question number 9. If 6 is a factor of a number, then 2 and 3 are also factors of that number. That is true. For example, uh, if we have a number 12, well, 6 is a factor of 12, then 2 and 3 they are also factors of 12 so next is suppose 18 well 6 is a factor of 18 and you will observe that 2 and 3 they are both the factors of 18 it is true part b if 2 and 3 are factors of a number then 6 is also a factor of that number true and the same reason you can use for this one as well if 2 and 3 are the factors of 12 then 6 is also a factor of 12 c if 2 and 4 are factors of a number then 8 is also a factor of that number false reason counter example if 2 and 4 they are factors of a number let's take the number 4 now 4 have the factors 1 2 4 now 4 and 2 are factors of 4 but 8 8 is not a factor of 4 false part d if f is a factor of n then n over f is also a factor of n f and f is a factor of n suppose f is a factor of n suppose f is 2 suppose f is 2 n is 4 so f is a factor of n 2 is a factor of 4 then n over f which is 4 over 2 which is 2 n over f 4 over 2 which is 2 is also a factor of n yes it is true part number e if h is the hcf of p and q h is hcf of p and q then both p and q are divisible by h let us suppose that the hcf let's suppose uh, we have uh, 3 and 6 now the hcf of 3 and 6 the factors of 3 are 1 and 3 factors of 6 are 1 2 and 3 So, HCF is 3. HCF is 3. 
the highest common factor. Now, HCF of uh, no H is HCF suppose three H is three is HCF of P and Q P is three Q and Q is six. Three is HCF of three and six. Then both P and Q mean both three and six. They are divisible by three. True. I have explained it with the help of an example from there. Next question is very interesting. The LCM of 9, 12 and n is 252. If n is odd, find all the possible values of n. So first of all, well 9 is basically 3 square. Okay, ignore this one for a moment. 9 is 3 square. I am writing 9, 12 as product of their prime factors. 12 is 3 into 4 where 4 is 2 square. I must ignore this one. And you know, don't know about n. You don't know about n. While the LCM is 252, this is the LCM. Uh, factorize your LCM. Uh, 252, the factors are in front of you. Well, this is 2 square, this is 3 square, and this is 7. Uh, well, that means you should have these numbers here because a multiplication of these numbers will give you 252. So, as far as uh, 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 the concept of LCM is concerned, uh, we have a column of 3, we have a column of 2, and this column is empty. 3 square from here is here. If you will observe column of 3, we have 3 square, we have 3 in the factors of 12, we have 3 square in the factors of 9. You can use n here 3 square, the factor of n can be 3 square because concept of LCM says from every column take out the maximum power. So, maximum power is 3 square. So, you can write here 3 square because I will take out 3 square from here as well, the maximum power from each column. The next one is 2 square. Now, 2 square is a factor of 12. 2 square or 2 is not a factor of 9. So, write 2 raised to the power 0. And you do not know about n. Uh, so, you can consider here 2 square, you can consider here 2, you can consider here 2 raised to the power 0 because n is not known. If you will take out uh, maximum power from this column, it will be 2 raised to the power 2. I am not going to have more than uh, 2 power 2 here because for 252 you need 2 power 2 and that is available here. If you will write here 2 power 3 then According to concept of LCM, you need to take out the maximum power. So, um, if, if 2 power 3 will be written here, you will take out 2 power 3 here, it will disturb your answer. Now, the, re the issue here is that we do not have 7 over here in the factors of 9. So, write 7 power 0. 12 do not have a factor 7, write 7 power 0. Well, n you can consider that we have. 7 as a factor of n because I want 7 here. So, there must be 1 7 power 1 in this column. I cannot write 7 power 1 here because 9 do not have a factor 7, 12 do not have. So, they have power 0 while n can have a factor 7. So, I have written 7 1 7 power 1 here because I need that here in answer. So, so, in this way you can find the value of n, but we need the odd values. Let me see what the answer of this one is 3. Okay, this one is 252. So, n, n can be 252, but this is not uh, required. We need, we need what? You need uh, which type of values? Odd. So, let us play with the values of n. If you will, if you will write here 3 power 0, this won't change. 
with 3 power 0 even then that you will take out maximum of power from here 3 power 2 if 2 power 0 is here that mean 2 is not a factor of n even then you will take a 2 power 2 so this result is not going to change if we have 3 power 0 and 2 power 0 here in the factors of n mean 3 power 0 is 1 2 power 0 is 1 so in that case n is 7 because 2 power 0 is 1 3 power 0 is 1 now if I can write here 3 power 1 this will not change you need not to change this one if we have 3 power 1 over here take out maximum power keep it 2 power 0 take out maximum power 7 power 1 7 uh, okay 7 into 3 not uh, 7 into 3 is 21 so n can be 21 okay then if uh, if I can write here 3 power 2 the, the result will not change LCM is still 252 maximum power from here is 3 power 2 maximum from here 2 power 2 maximum from here 7 so 9 into 7 is 63 so these are the possible values or values of n in this you can find that so this is solution up to question number 10 keep watching and thank you so much